I'm Jeff Child, editor in chief of All About Circuits. I'm here with Kurt Saban, uh, former vice president for products and software and solutions at AMD. I'm happy to ask you some questions today. Here we are at Embedded World. It's like 1,100 exhibitors, 32,000 uh, attendees. Uh, yeah. We're here to meet with important companies like you. Why is Embedded World important for you? Why are you here? Well, I think as you can see here, Jeff, you know that it uh, brings all the customers from all across Europe to this trade show, right? And it's uh, first time I was here. I think it was about 10 years ago, and I was kind of floored at how big it is. Uh, we have a ton of customer meeting rooms here in our booth, and we actually have all of our European sales team here bringing their customers in. So we have a lot of really productive uh, sales and, and uh, customer meetings here at this trade show. So that's Excellent. why we're here. Excellent. Uh, artificial intelligence AI is obviously a big trend going on. I know it's very important for AMD. Uh, also, uh, on your uh, FPGA and Aptive uh, SOC side, but also the embedded process side, talk a little bit about how you're thinking about AI these days. Yeah, in fact, you'll see a bunch of AI solutions on display here in our booth. Uh, we see the next big kind of inflection point in AI uh, around the edge. So we've got a lot of different product offerings there across our FPGAs, our adaptive SOCs, and like you said, our embedded x86 products, including uh, embedded Ryzen AI. So um, I think we're well, well positioned here as AI starts to move from the cloud out to the edge, and uh, I think we're going to capitalize on that in the next in the few years to come. Excellent. Uh, you know, the whole idea of like a system on chip is almost what an FPGA has become these days. I mean. Years ago, it would take a board level product to have the memory, the processor, that kind of stuff, and now you can do it all uh, on uh, SOC. And that's true of even like a, sort of the the, the, um, the smaller types of, uh, of FPGA. So can you talk about like the integration of these uh, all functions into one chip these days? Yeah, I mean, the, I've been in the FPGA business uh, almost 30 years now, and uh, it's really evolved you know, a lot from back in the day, it was just lookup tables and flip-flops. Today's modern FPGAs have a plethora of different hardened types of IP, PCI Express interfaces, hardened memory interfaces, uh, high-speed serial transceivers, all those kinds of things. We do have a broad product offering, so we, we offer uh, low-end, mid-range, and high-end products to our customers. So the higher up you go, the more integration you tend to have in terms of you know, um, more hardened intellectual property. And our versatile flagship line uh, today, I would argue, is almost like a programmable ASSP. We have different products for different kinds of markets. We still have the benefit of the programmable logic, but we have a lot of hardened infrastructure in there that's really critically necessary for certain applications. Well, thanks for talking to me, Kirk. Really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.